I'm Glenda Dell from St. David's Maristananda. We decided last year, 2016, that we wanted to introduce robotics as a subject for grade eight and nine. We have done a course in robotics with Michael and we are now introducing it for each of the grade eights and grade nines. So that's 288 children in all will have built their robots by the end of 2017. Back in 2012, we ran a little club in which we did um, robotics but the numbers were limited there to about 10 or 12 boys. At this stage we decided we wanted all the boys to gain the skills that come with building robots and for that reason we have decided now that it's going to be part of our curriculum for all grade eights and nines. Uh, required quite a lot of planning to get this going. For starters, we needed to have teachers trained. So we sent six teachers on a training course. They took a week out of school and um, came home with robots built. So confidence levels much greater at that point. We also then had to, ahead of that, plan the budget. Uh, the children all have to pay for their own robots so we had to have that planned and so that we could warn parents of children coming in the following year what they, their expenses would be. We also had to arrange facilities. The uh, classroom facilities where the boys are going to be working are quite speci have quite specific requirements. We needed to rearrange rooms, we had to have work surfaces built in, plug points put in, we needed laptops available for programming. So all of those sorts of things were budget requirements and actual facilities to be designed and, and implemented. So a good six months um, planning is required to make sure that everything happens on schedule. So far the boys have had an awesome experience, they absolutely love it. Um, kids that in previous years, in previous classes and in other classes are discipline issues are no longer. They love this subject, they are hands-on involved, they're busy. We have to throw them out at the end of the lesson. They do not want to leave. They, they actually are so involved in what they're doing. I would say we've had that on about a 98% basis, that the kids love it. They just are learning so much. They don't even realize they're learning. And I think that's one of the big wins from doing a, a robotics course like this. Uh, we've had all the help from our staffing um, requirements are that we have two teachers per class and that has made a huge difference. You need to be there looking, helping, checking that they're doing the right thing. I'm Lee and I'm a teacher at St. David's Maristananda. I'm a maths teacher and I taught IT for the juniors last year and this year we decided to move, change the IT to robotics. It has been really exciting. The boys have been incredible. Um, boys that I have in my maths class who are disinterested and disengaged and usually a bit of a discipline problem in robotics are the complete opposite. They're the first person in the class, they're the last one to leave and are so excited in every single lesson. Um, this has been such a wonderful experience for the boys and for St. David's and it's definitely something we're really excited to see how far we can actually go with it and see where we can get to at the end. The difficulties we've come across is especially once we've started building the robot a few of the boys have put the wrong parts into the wrong places so trying to unsolder those and take them out has been quite difficult. Um, the boys are supposed to follow a video step-by-step -step video with kind of instructions on how to do it but unfortunately because they're boys they get distracted quite easily so sometimes they kind of think they know what they're doing and will just do it without actually watching the video so that's been the biggest obstacle but it's not it's not an obstacle that can't be fixed you know we've just had to order a couple of extra parts and unsolder it and put it back together and luckily it's not throughout the whole group so it's just a few here and there um, otherwise yeah we haven't really come across anything else that's caused any major problems. Definitely think we're um, going to carry on with it next year. Um, we're actually quite excited to see what will happen with the group that have started this year and are going to take it into a second year because we're thinking of kind of doing a project-based 
um, thing with them because they would have already built the robots, a basic robot, and we, we're quite excited to see what they will then go and research and create to kind of extend their learning on the robot and build extra things on with sensors and GPS and all the other kind of stuff. So we're actually quite excited to see, you know, where we can go further with this. We had a five-day course last year at the end of the year to kind of get us to build our own robots and program them and kind of learn how to use them before we had to teach it. It was a really great learning experience. It was very exciting building my own robots and programming it. Where we went to go and do our course was a really exciting place. There's equipment everywhere. We got to see how the the chassis were cut, we got to see how other robots work that we weren't actually building yet and all of that sort of stuff and kind of how the robotics has grown and Mike was a great teacher showing us exactly how where everything's come from and how we've got into this place and um, he's been really helpful throughout this process whenever we've had any questions on you know if a child if a boy has made a mistake on something he's helped us kind of work through that and try and fix it so it's been wonderful my name is Ngosi Ntembo I'm teaching IT currently I'm teaching grade 8 and grade 9 uh, what I've noticed about uh, teaching the boys Robotech is that boys like doing projects so this is like a project based learning environment as you can see here boys are doing soldering boys are making circuits um, so which is another thing that I've noticed with boys they like to see things happening so they want to learn and see the result immediately another thing that I've noticed with the boys is that they want to work at their own pace so that's a nice thing about this project something that I found uh, difficulty at the beginning was uh, when it comes to like at the beginning to teach the boy how to go about soldering. It worked quite well here, especially because the classroom is big and like each boy can actually sit at their own workstation. I'm Sylvia Crichton. I'm the head of IT at St. David's Maristananda. Last year, uh, some of my colleagues and I decided that we'd like to introduce robotics to grade eight and nine learners. And we got in touch with Michael who took us on a course and through all the steps of building the robots and programming them. Michael has been a great helped to us and we learned a lot on the course that has helped us through teaching robotics to the boys. His videos have been really great. Boys have been able to watch these videos to be able to see exactly what to do. So all the boys are working at different, uh, in different parts of the robot and so it's not like we can do the same thing with everyone in the same class. So they're all working at their own pace through watching the videos. We've introduced the robotics to introduce boys to programming. Um, the IT that we had been teaching to grade eights and nines wasn't always that relevant, but we feel that programming is very relevant to their lives. And hopefully through this programming that they learn here, they'll go on to do IT as a subject when they're in grade 10. We really would like to do this again next year as we've seen a lot of benefit to the boys in their excitement and in the programming skills that they will learn. The cost of the robots for the boys has been a little bit expensive, but well worth it. It's spread over a two year period and they're really going to learn a lot about their robots and some of them will take this further. So. I think this, the cost, although it may seem high, has been worth it to the boys.